As morning breaks in the Serengeti, a different sort of creature is waking for the day. One that breathes fire and offers a safari from the skies. From up here, you have a better sense of the scale of this wild area, which stretches for hundreds of miles and north all the way over the border with Kenya. This is one of the largest protected animal corridors on Earth, and people travel from all corners of the world to see it. Every day, Chief Pilot Abide flies them over the savannah. It's like being in heaven, especially doing it in Serengeti. It's like doing it in heaven. And at this time of year, it's not just tourists on safari. More than two million animals are also on the move. It's a journey like no other. The major attraction of Serengeti so far has been the migration. Well, most of the people who came to Tanzania mark this trip as a lifetime trip because nowhere in the world you get to see this. And so people are willing to pay. Tourism is one of Tanzania's biggest earners. I direct you to go. Visitor numbers are still lower than other African countries, but they've doubled in the last 10 years. You are used to that. When the tourists come here, we just get a profit so we can do a lot of things, um, like uh, maybe uh, building um, schools and people, they just get uh, maybe uh, good uh, treatment at their hospitals and a lot of things happen. And many local people find jobs in tourism. Chef has actually prepared the last. Ezekiel grew up on the edge of the park in a family of poachers, but he's made his career in hospitality. <laughs> Sometimes back, people were not actually seeing the benefits because uh, most of the people, they were poachers. But nowadays, people, they understand because the, the government have been training them and teaching them and telling them the benefit of the tourism. For many first-time visitors, the Serengeti is the image of Africa, and they'll pay tens of thousands of dollars to see this most famous of skylines for themselves. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, in the Serengeti.